Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on. Today we're going to be working on a very simple to do two flower nail art design. I'm using pink for my colors. If you have short nails, this design can also work fine for you. What I've done here is a sample nail so you can see what you can do if you have shorter nails. You can see there that's the length about of a short nail and what I've done, I've brought the design from the French tip down lower. That's usually what I recommend for my French tip designs. Just bring the design down lower. Let's get started. The first thing to do is apply your base coat. After that you will have to decide what color you choose for your background. The one I chose is this pink one by Clean Color and it's called Barbie Pink. I'm going to be applying this one over my entire nail. I'm going to allow this to completely dry, then I'm going to go over it with one more coat. The next step is to make a French manicure in the color of your choice. The one I'm going to be using is a neutral tone. It's by Alley Colors and I don't have the name for it, but it's very similar in color, so it's just going to be a very light difference. So I'm going to be doing a French manicure. I'm just going in and creating that French manicure, going all around and it's very barely noticeable but once you add the glitter as you can see there it um, changes in color gives it a different tone to the glitter so I'm going to do my nails edge and now we will just allow that to dry once your French manicure is completely dry it's time to add the glitters the one I'm going to be using is this one by Smackers and it's called Melon Crystals I'm only going to be applying it over the French manicure The next step to doing this design is adding the simple flowers you see there. They're very easy to do and we've added two of them to each of our nails. To do them, I'm going to be using a medium sized dotting tool. The first flower we're going to be placing it over on the bottom and I'm dipping my tool each time and this is just a very simple five dotted flower to do. I'm going to move over to that side. I'm going to do two little dots on the bottom, one and two. I'm going to be doing the same exact thing, placing the five dots. Now using the same dotting tool, I'm just going to drag all the little dots inward. Now I'm going to be using 1mm size rhinestone so that I could place them in the middle of each of my flowers. I'm going to be placing clear polish in each of our uh, flowers. I'm going to get my dotting tool. I'm going to make it sticky and I'm going to pick a rhinestone and place it right in the middle. There's one. I'm going to press down gently. I'm going to move over to the other one. And yeah, just two, a couple of them came along. Let me place the other ones down. And I'm just going to place it right in the center and press down gently. And there we have our two rhinestones in the middle of our flowers. Now I'm going to be using the bigger size glitters in purple and I'm going to be placing them over uh, randomly over the French manicure and outlining the French manicure as well. I'm going to apply clear polish over the entire French manicure. And using my dotting tool, I'm going to dip it in. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start outlining the French manicure.
Now I'm going in and I'm going to be placing them randomly over the French manicure area. You can place as little or as many as you want. Just placing a couple of them. Not too many either. The last step is to apply a top coat of your choice to seal in the design. This will make your uh, manicure last a lot longer and it really brings your whole design to life once it's done nice and shiny. And that's it for this nail art design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try it out. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!